Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going to deal with this topic poetic devices. I am going to tell you how poetic devices are important each and every poetic device. And as it is said that a woman uses her all kind of ornaments to uh, look beautiful. Same is the case with a poet who uses these poetic devices to make his uh, poetry um, look more beautiful and more attractive. So there are certain uh, poetic devices which I have taken up in this very video. Later on I will take others as well uh, by the time. So this, these ones are important. So all the classes like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, they should know these things. And the people who are grown up, they should know this, these things as well. So first of all, I will deal with alliteration. Alliteration is repetition of consonant sounds. Repetition of consonant sounds in two or more consecutive words. When you have repetition of consonant sounds, when consonant sounds are repeated, it's not consonant alphabets and vowels. It are it is IPS symbols. They have twenty four consonants. So whenever those twenty four consonants are being repeated, you can say it is alliteration. Like she sells seashells on the seashore. Sure sound, sure sound, and sure sound is being repeated. That's why it is. Alliteration over here. Look, sir sound, sir sound, sir sound. Any one sound can, if anyone, here two sounds are repeated, it can be only one sound. She sells seashells on the seashore. Sure, 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 sure is repeated. C sells C and C. Sir, sir, sir is repeated. So we have alliteration over here. Then there is assonance. Assonance means repetition of vowel sounds. When you have vowel sounds being repeated in uh, kind of uh, continuous manner, then you will will say that it is assonance like feel free. E e is being repeated, so it is vowel sound. You will have twenty vowels in international phonetic alphabets. So e sound is being repeated over here. That's why we say it is assonance. Then we have simile. When two uneven things, which are not even, which are not uh, like each other in any of the uh, part, then we compare these two things with the help of comparative words like or as. These are known as comparative words. We have direct comparison over here. Comparison between two uneven things, huh? two unlike things we can say, uh, which, are, which are not like each other. So we say that this simile, like she sings like a nightingale, she and nightingale, these are not like things, but we have direct comparison of singing. So that's why it is known as simile. When we compare two uneven things with the word, with help, uh, with the help of comparative word, uh, then we have simile over here. Metaphor, it is the indirect comparison between two uneven things. It's a little bit different than simile. We have indirect comparison. There is no direct comparison between the two things. So... In this indirect comparison, you will see that this indirect, the indirect comparison will not have any comparative word. She and Nightingale, there is no comparative word. So she and Nightingale is being compared. She is a Nightingale. We directly, indirectly, it's an indirect comparison. Why? Why we say she is a Nightingale? We can't say what kind of aspect has made her a Nightingale. So it is indirect comparison. Then we have personification. Where inanimate objects are presented as with human qualities, when human qualities are given to those which are inhumans, like animals, like birds, trees, plant, plants, and uh, any other object rather than a human, when human qualities are given to them, like the wind announced its arrival. Announced is a word which can be done only by humans, so that's why wind this this feature is given to wind which is an inanimate object so that's why it is personification over here then we have imagery imagery means creation of any sensory effect like visuals olfactory or we can say any of the auditory any of the effects like creating like we can say that uh, the, the the crying skies like it, it gives it creates an image in front of us whenever there is any kind of sentence which creates image in front of you that is imagery so this is another poetic, poetic device now coming to the seventh one onomatopoeia onomatopoeia is the use of sounds in actual sounds 
uh, used in the poem are onomatopoeia like buzz hmm so crook the, these whenever we use these sounds in the poetry it is onomatopoeia then we have oxymoron oxymoron is it is when we use contradictory terms and and they appear in conjunctions when contradictory terms are used so contradictory terms like dark and light these are contradictory terms when they are used we have oxymoron over there then we have repetition when you when any single word is repeated in a line or uh, uh, repeated in in a kind of a poem then we say there is repetition like we say far far from here lives a hermit so far and far these two these two this one word is repeated twice so that's why it's repetition over here then we have hyperbole hyperbole means when you present things in an exaggerated manner when you ex exaggerate things when you present in, in a hi-fi manner like i'll say i'm so strong that i can kill 100 animals in one go in 10 seconds so maybe i'm strong but it's not like that that i can i can just kill 100 beasts in just one go it's, it's impossible to kill even one so when i present my strength in an exaggerated manner in an exaggerated form then it is hyper bold irony the most common in use of tone or exaggeration exaggeration to convey a meaning opposite of what is being said when you say something but want to say your your intention of saying this is something different then it is irony over there the name of biggest dog in our area is tiny look the biggest dog in our area is tiny you have an ironical statement over here ironical means you want to say something different yeah the person the the dog who has name uh, who is biggest his name is tiny that means it does not have that capability the butter is as soft as a slab of marble so it's not soft it is very hard you here want to present it uh, the butter is so soft as it is slab of marble that means it's very hard that was all in today's video hope you liked it thank you very much